this colony was built by the Ishtar Collective. Records say they once studied ruins older than humanity itself. We thought this was all lost in the collapse. How's it going, guys? My name is Sam and welcome to the Let's Way of Destiny. And I just want to give you guys a brief like update of why am I making a video so late at night at like 2 o'clock in the morning and the reason why is that like I'm having like like hallucinations like not really it's kind of like a hallucinations it's not insomnia it usually happens like one or two times a night it usually happens at night at Savia usually happens on a daily basis usually like a week or so it usually just goes away but by, by then but for me like like it's like a strange feeling like I'm feeling it right now but Lori time like it like kind of like goes away is by me playing video games as me playing right now that's why I'm, I'm doing this video right now is because I'm kinda like feeling okay I'm kinda feeling okay but then again I, I still have that same weird feeling as before and it started when I was in fourth grade, uh, it happened. I think it happened around like the beginning of school, like the beginning of my fourth grade year. I was nine years old. I was I was excited to go to the class to meet my old friends I met before, meet new other friends I never met before, and yeah, I was kind of excited for that basically. And suddenly, it was at night. I was ready to go to bed, it was like at 10 o'clock, <coughs> I was ready to go to bed and then all that, and, and suddenly like, I felt weird, like I felt, like but my body felt tingly, like, like okay I'm gonna try to go really in depth to this, so I would try to make this as clearly as I can, so keep that in mind about that, okay, like, like I, I, like I was sleeping, right? And then I felt, I noticed that I felt like, like a motion, like, like a feeling, like it felt, like I felt really cold, like I was cold, even though I had my blanket on, I felt really cold for some reason. And then suddenly, like, I just, I just started to sweat for some reason. It was still cold, but then I just started sweating. I, I was like. The hell, why am I sweating even though it was cold? I still have my blanket on, but you know, like I'm starting to sweat for some reason, and you know, it, it felt weird at first. And then after that, for a little bit, like I woke up, I kind of woke my brother, and I kind of woke my brother up. Like, I kind of like did like a little tiny screech or like a scream because I woke up from like. My, during my sleep and I, and I didn't even know what's going on but like my body felt hella weird and my my temperature was acting up I was cold I was feeling a cold motion a cold room temperature and I started sweating and no like my body felt cold and my head was just really really warm for some reason like my like I was just heated from the top and I was just really like cold from the bottom you know and I woke my brother up, and my brother was like, Hey, bro, what happened? What's going on? And I, I told him, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think I kind of freaked him out. He thought I was, like, being possessed or something, but I just told him, like, what's going on. I told him, like, oh, I had, like, this weird feeling, like, mixture of body heat temperatures, and I just felt weird. And then, and after that, like, I... After that, I went back to sleep, but then I didn't really go went back to sleep. I just noticed that I couldn't go back to sleep. Like, like I just like I just started to get even more sweaty. Like I just got sweaty and sweaty and sweaty as I 
as time passed passed by, and I was like, what the hell's going on? Then I started to get weird imagery. Like I started to like hall- hallucinate a bit. Like I got to the point where I just couldn't breathe at all, and I'm getting like mixed like imagery in my head, and it just it felt weird. Like I never experienced this before, and it just felt like it's just taking over my body. I couldn't like control myself usually most of the time, and it felt scary. And then I walked my brother up again, and he's like, "The heck, do what the hell's happened happening now?" And are you having that feeling again? And he's like, "Yeah," but it just it just keeps getting worse and worse. After that, I got to the point where I just didn't respond to anyone at all. Like I just, I just stayed. I just stood quietly. Like I didn't answer my my brother's questions and all that, or why. Like I didn't like answer him. Like and tell him why what's going on and all that. Why he acting up like this? I told him like why. Like he kind of got freaked out about it. So. I called my dad again, and after that, like, my dad was like, oh, like, you should go drink some water, so I drank some water, and, and like, it still didn't do anything, like, and then I just felt, I, I felt weird after that, like, I, I just ended up, like, feeling, like, even worse and worse and worse, like, every single, like, minute of my, of my body, like, it's, like, keeps feeding, like, it's, like, slowly, like, like, it has that little, it's hard to explain, like, kids you not, like, it felt weird, like, I just, I just couldn't control myself, and then, after that, like, I started, like, sweat even more, like, like, sweatier than before, like, my pillow was wet, my, uh, my blanket was just really, really warm, my palms were just really, really sweaty, and then I'm starting to get, like, like, a weird, like, imagery, like, in my head, like, it's there, but it's not even there, but I'm just picturing there, and like, it's like... And it's like... An object, it's like a little tiny object that... It's hard to explain, like, it's like an object that like... Like, it goes bigger and bigger, but then it keeps on like, getting smaller every time I move, but then it, like... If I stand in one area, it keeps on like, getting like... Bigger or smaller, and then it just... And there's like this... Like a human figure, like it's like a little tiny like dog figure, like it just like it felt weird, like it just kept you know, like it, it, it didn't do anything, like it was just there, it kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I was like, I was like, like I kept like shivering, I kept I keep getting frightened, I, I got scared, and I ended up like starting crying, like I started weeping though, I started weeping, and then for a little moment, I started crying, and then after that, like. Like, I started, like, just whining. I started whining. I started crying. Like, I started to cry like a baby, pretty much. And, it, yet again, like, my brother was trying to sleep. My brother was trying to keep a, keep an eye on me. And then, and then he saw me, like, start crying. And then, like, my brother, like, didn't really do anything. Because he thought, he thought I was, there was something wrong with me. So, he, he got kind of scared of me. I just kept crying and crying and crying. And... Like, it wasn't like the pressure, it wasn't like the pressure, it wasn't like it saw me, it was something, it, it felt weird, like... I think it was a sleep paralysis, but I'm not sure it was a sleep paralysis, but... Like, I know what's going on, though, but I, I was, I was like aware of my actions and all, but... Like, I was getting like mixed emotions of, and feelings and it just... It felt weird. It's kind of like, I'm dreaming, but I'm not. I, I'm still in reality, like I was still there, and it, was, it just kept bugging me. I couldn't really do anything about it, cause I was still awake, and it just it was like a weird feeling. And after that, like, like my dad like gave me some Nyquil, so I drank some of that, and you know, like it just it felt it felt really like weird af- af- afterwards, and I'm happy like withdrawals are back then, and it just. It, it's horrible, like, it's really horrible. You, you won't know how scary I felt back then when I was nine, and it's just, like, and it's just coming back to me. Like, it usually, like, it, it happens, like, every year. Like, usually happens, like, one time or three times every year, but 
like it's just I'm kind of used to it now but I'm not really well of course I'm not really used to it but I get the idea that it happens like every year twice a year or so and then I have to like be aware of this I have technology I can like listen to music now I can like play video games or something like that or do something to get stuff off my mind you know yeah like right now I'm just playing video games this is why I I'm doing a video and before I I would always play video games and I and it usually like slowly like calm me down and like it would like slowly like disappear like I won't have that feeling anymore and usually I'll knock out afterwards you know the hell you're here Sorry if I stopped a bit, I was just like Why have you been watching me? I don't know. Why have you? Explain why you don't have time to explain. What? I will. I will. I know. Will what? what? I wasn't talking to you, Little Light. I'm a ghost, actually. Many guardians fell. Strong ones. But you made it through. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. They are here. With me. What? You need my help, Guardian. Get, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> they brought us here. The Vex. Evil so dark it despises other evil. You're not a Guardian. No. I was not forged in light. What? Yeah, you're like a survivor there. Yeah. The great oh, we beat the game anyways. <laughs> but it's like Against to look back, you know? Find the Black Garden. Without its heart, only then will your travel begin to heal. Can you help us find it? My path's my own. I can't. If we're going to find the Black Garden, I think it's through the Awoken. Ah. Out there wavering between the light and the dark. A side should always be taken, little light. Even if it's the wrong side. Too late returning. How many? Hold position, kill the engines, and don't let them find you. Whoa. She's like a hunter. How do we find the awoken? They live all the way. Reef. Can't we just stay here with the murderous robot? No. Little light. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I love the cutscene of the game. Anyways, uh. Yeah, that's basically it, pretty much. Like, pretty much cover, like, what's been going on and wh what's happening. I think I'm gonna knock out like right now. <laughs> I like I'm starting to. I still feel it though, but then it's like, it, it, like it doesn't really bother bother me as much anymore. And yeah, it just feels different now. <sighs> All right, guys, at the end of this episode here. Hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play and my commentary or my little update of what's going on my freaking sickness my illness quote and yeah hope you guys enjoy like favorite subscribe and i'll see you in the next one of whatever i make stay awesome love you as always time to help <sighs> i'm a knock <sighs>